Hello and welcome back to the course. Today we're talking about intelligent hearing. Now we've already discussed the five, actually six different uh, classes in S3. And today we're going to introduce a seventh one called intelligent hearing. And this class combines the five features, the features of these five classes. Best way to describe it is that it automatically moves data to the most cost-effective axis tier as axis patterns change. Now, uh, let's have a look in more detail. We're going to move things around. We'll put our classes from top to bottom on the left. And as you can see, the names have changed. Now it's frequent access tier and frequent access tier, archive instant access instead of uh, what it used to be uh, standard and glacier and so on. And this is uh, mostly to avoid confusion, but the features are exactly the same. Now, the top three are called automatic, and we'll see why in a second, and the bottom two are optional. If we put a timeline here, uh, and imagine that we have an object that starts its life over here, or is most recently accessed over here, this is how intelligent tiering will deal with this object. At first, the object will stay in frequent access, uh, where it will incur certain cost for storage. Now, if this object is not accessed for 30 days, it will be dropped down to infrequent access where it will stay uh, and incur a lower charge for storage. If the object is not accessed for a total of 90 days, then it will be dropped even further into archive instant access where it will stay indefinitely until it is accessed. Uh, and while it's there, it will incur an even lower uh, cost for storage. Now, over here, we can see the object has been accessed, then so instantly jumps back up to frequent access and uh, the cycle repeats again. Um, optionally, you can choose to configure the two archive uh, tiers at the bottom. Uh, the first one requires at least 90 days, but you can specify a larger number up to 730 days when it gets activated. And uh, same thing for the deep archive access, but there the minimum is 180 days. So this is how intelligent hearing works. A few notable features about this storage class is that there's a monitoring and automation fee, which is usually a fraction of a cent per thousand objects, except uh, objects under 128 kilobytes. Uh, they are too small to make it cost effective to move them around. So you can use it, you can put them into intelligent hearing, but they will be just kept at frequent access all the time. And uh, finally, there's no retrieval fee from archive, except for if you choose the expedited version. So that's intelligent tiering. First, we'll look at the pricing. And here you can see intelligent tiering. There's a fraction of a cent per thousand objects. In fact, a quarter of a cent per thousand objects. So quite uh, cost effective. Um, and then you can see that um, the price for storage drops as you uh, drop down through the tiers. Uh, an important thing to note here is that there's no additional tiering charges when objects are moved between access tiers. So as intelligent tiering moves objects between these tiers, it's not going to charge you anything extra, anything above this monitoring and automation fee that's just charged by default. And uh, if we look at requests and data retrievals, you can see that we've got intelligent tiering here, which is uh, similar to S3 standard in terms of cost of getting data. And... Uh, then, of course, uh, this is what I wanted to point out as well, the retrieval. There's no retrieval fee from archive, except for if you're choosing the expedited version. So there we go. That's Intelligent Hearing. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.